now let's look into creative palette profiles and how best to use them. So I'm going to go back into DaVinci Resolve and then just click on this like a little like a you know icon here and that's gonna reset everything with it so far. Uh, so we can start now again with the input camera which is Alexa. I'm going to select my contrast to be S1. Basically we learned this is the most neutral contrast but now let's go also into the neutral color palette. Now this color palette again is what mathematically is considered to be the neutral state. So however it comes with a like a few options which is the neutral palette 1, 2 and 3. What 2 and 3 do is they increase the color volume. Now this is very important to understand. So what we are doing is we are not increasing saturation but the color volume. So as you can see primary colors are getting stronger like you see how the red, green and blue in the background is getting stronger but the skin is staying within the norm. So basically the color volume does not necessarily increase the whole amount of color equally but it does it so in a way that you know the volume of the color proportionally grows. So it's a great way how to kind of increase you know your neutral rec 709 and make it more vivid and I can use it as a great starting point for some strong looks. Now we also have a major and minor palettes and you have probably seen in the previous lesson that major is used for more positive emotions. So for example, you know, A sharp is actually a great starting point, you know, for like a good major look. So what you can do is you can always go a little bit to your primary color correction and then you can maybe, you know, put your lift down a little bit, you know, and then I can go and um, in my gamma I can add a little bit red you know just to give it a little bit more warmth and then I can go and add a little bit saturation you see and now what I do is I have a great kind of warm and happy starting look you know that it's going to work across you know many many shots so I'm going to quickly reset this just to go through like an other option that we have in a major color palette so um, another one uh, that I use sometimes is like a also A, which is a more flatter version with less color. Um, also, um, I like, for example, D. If I want to go for a little bit more funky or, or old school look, I can go crush my shadows a little bit there and then I can open up my gamma a little bit that, that gives me great little retro feel or what I can do for example is I can go for like you know F uh, which is even more like a you know on a retro feel I really like these looks all of these looks they do have a little bit stronger effect they're a little bit bold but sometimes you might be working on a show that you know requires exactly that there could be a music video or some commercial or something that needs a little bit more expressiveness in order to achieve desired result then we have a minors but now let me go and reset my lift come again and now let's look into minor so that kind of a minor sharp is something interesting but like it gets very interesting around here so you see for example so you have a d minor or e minor even i quite like e minor you see these are like all a little bit cooler looks um they work with a slightly more contrast very well. So you see this look for example works very good and then I'm gonna go and in again we'll add a little bit more blue. So you see for example this is giving me nice like a really cool look. If you're worried a little bit about the skin tone you can just go and bring some warmth in the skin and it's just gonna help keep skin a little bit more neutral even though we went very very cool. So try out any one of these looks. So there is one that I use sometimes when I want to achieve a cross process look. So this is the, the C minor sharp you know that feels a little bit more cross process or you can go for C minor which is cross process but less effective than the first one. So go ahead and play with all the different 
palettes. Try to familiarize yourself with those, try to build your favorites, or sometimes it's just enough to play through them just to see what different results we would be able to get if we are to go in a different direction.